Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today we're going to continue working on the changes in the Lego room. Specifically, I'm going to start by installing some track shelving right over there on that open wall. In addition to that, I think I'm going to be extending the base platform in the Lego City because I prepped the city for that just the other day. And I also have to go out and do some shopping because I need to pick up some material for these projects. And I'm sure we'll make a couple other stops along the way as well. Got some stuff moved out of the way. Got my level, drill tool belt, stud finder, mini level, dust catch, and the first two standards are on the wall there. It's a lot easier when you don't have to move a campground full of trees out of the way. Yep, moving the mill plate at Home Alone House is definitely a lot easier. Hey, check this thing out. It's magnetic, goes on my wrist, and I can hold drill bits and screws for easy access. Isn't that a cool accessory? So there's the first shelf installed. I did install the track so that I could line this shelf up with the bottom shelf of that. But if I do that, it's going to bring it down, whatever, a few inches there. It's going to come closer and closer to this raised platform. So if anything, it'll probably move up and be in the middle of those two shelves. I've left a little bit of a gap there so that you can still see the set, like the uh, spaceship, sorry, space shuttle discovery there. Uh, yeah, but I think that looks awesome. The problem is, is I'm out of material now. I only had three of these tracks, so I've got to go buy two more, I think it is, so we can extend it over there, over top of the burrow. I'm definitely a huge fan of that. Once we get the sets on there, it's going to add a nice pop of color up on that big white wall there. Just so much wasted space around the perimeter of the city. Yes, we used to have shelving around the city, but it was the billy shelves, remember? The billy shelves were around the perimeter and there's this narrow walkway so you could access the Lego City on all four sides. The problem was is you couldn't see the bottom of the billy shelves. With the floating shelves, well not really floating, the track shelving, you can actually see all of the sets that are on display. So that's good. It's a good use of space around the city. Especially when we get the next shelf installed which is going to go from the end of that one to about the bulkhead there. And there'll be a gap right there where the bulkhead is just because I don't want to crowd the Mountain View Observatory there. And that shelf, if it does crowd castles or whatever I decide to put on that raised platform, we can raise it up as well. So that's awesome. One thing I probably have to do is get the Malamine tape. I think it's tape. It's like iron-on stuff. It's essentially this, but you iron it on these particle board ends. So that'll clean that up and also clean up the end over there and wherever else we have that in the Lego room right here as well, actually. Another thing I want to do with Malamine is actually run strips of it along there just to clean this up and give the Lego city tables a white edge. Might potentially do that as well. And then once again, I want to get lighting and install the lighting on the back of the shelves so it diffuses up behind the sets and down toward the city as well. But I guess my next thing I've got to do is go to Home Depot and pick up those supplies. There's something else that I've got to do as well. Can you tell what that is? Oh my gosh, I need a haircut desperately. <laughs> it's ridiculous. When my hair gets long, it gets really curly and it grows up. Oh man, I hope I have time to stop off at a barber because this is uh, getting a little bit outrageous. So I'm all freshened up. <laughs> And I'm at Best Buy. So I'm here for something different. My squad that I game with on Call of Duty says that I need to get a new headset with 7.1 surround sound. So that's what I'm doing. They say it's way better. You can hear the footsteps coming from a mile away. Now I am hearing impaired, but I think this is going to do the trick because it's got 7.1 surround sound. Woo! I just love the smell of Home Depot. The good old shelving aisle. Oh yeah. Could have done something like that, but that looks extremely expensive compared to the shelving I used. You know what? There's actually two different ways of doing the track shelving. You can install the uh, horizontal bars, and then you can install these that go onto the horizontal bars and screw them in spots. See that notch there? But I just use the standard stuff, and this is what I'm after. Oh man, do they have enough? I need three. Oh, there's three there. That's good. These are 10 bucks each, right? And then you just uh, use any of these brackets. And then you can buy the shelving. You can buy the Rubbermaid shelving, but it's extremely expensive. 20 bucks or 23.97. But if you go to the other wood aisles, you can buy the Malamine shelving for way cheaper than that. 
This stuff's just got that Rubbermaid brand. It's probably a little bit better quality as well. So I buy the double track stuff just because I feel like it's safer for things like the Titanic, right? You can also buy the single track stuff too. It's cheaper, but I don't know. I'd rather put my Titanic on a thicker shelf bracket, right? And right behind me here is the stuff that I want to get for the garage. $300 a pop. I need two or three of them. Yeah, maybe I'll do that one day. Replace my stacked Lego tables, the OG tables, with those. I could go with the plastic shelves, but come on, look at that. Compared to that, that just looks awesome. I also need to pick up a cedar fence board. Holy cow, $9 for a piece of wood. Why do I need to pick this up? Because I'm building a new fence. No, I'm not building a new fence. But my neighbors, they have this dog that comes over and it's like vicious and it comes through the fence. So... I'm going to put this on my fence and screw it in the top and bottom and extend my fence over two inches up against the other fence so that that dog can't stick his nose through and attack Tico because Tico doesn't like him. So got to make sure my boy is safe, right? So I got to pick out a nice straight fence board here. I'm actually back here in the shelving aisle. I could have bought these screws. They're for the other brand, but they'll probably work for the uh, Rubbermaid rails. But look, they're white and they're flat. So I'm thinking maybe they would go in flat. Maybe it's worth the $6.97 to try those out. I think they're approximately the same diameter as the other screws that I use, so I would be able to swap them out. And then sometimes, like when you put this thing in, like right there, if the screw isn't flush, the screw gets in the way, so you can't use those slots. So if the screw is flush, then it would solve that problem. You can put it here no problem because the um, bracket goes right like sort of over the screw like that but there it's a problem so maybe using these screws all along would have been the better solution i actually didn't know they had these my problem was as i was looking in the screw aisle rather than looking in the shelving aisle i didn't know they had specific screws for the tracks but you live and you learn right there you go if you're installing track shelving maybe it's better to go with the ever built brand right because they have that brand here too and use these screws once again steel studs was sort of an issue and i didn't know they had these but now i know uh now unfortunately i can't install my shelves right now because i am on baby wash jose's going somewhere with benjamin and i've got to look after millie so i've got to pause for two hours you know what though it feels really good to have a haircut i feel like a new person i always love getting my haircut it's awesome i should honestly do it more often i don't know why i wait a month or two i should just do it Every month, I should just go and get my haircut so I look fresh all the time, you know? Especially when I'm like a YouTuber. It makes sense, right? I'm excited, though, to install the shelving. It's going to be pretty awesome. But it looks like Millie's actually cooperating. She's taking a midday nap. Oh, my gosh. Let's seize this opportunity to install some shelves. So in regards to the screws, they are the same diameter, so I can replace them. So that's good. It's a huge positive. They're also a little bit longer as well, but I still think they'll be fine. They definitely look a lot better, but you only get 13 per pack, so I'd need to buy a bunch of packs. Probably would be worth the 50 bucks, though, to go through and replace all the screws in my tracks so they look like that. Flush, the same color, and not nearly as noticeable as these. I know people told me to do this in the past, but I just didn't think to look where the track shelving was to find hardware. There we go. Live and learn once again. That looks awesome. You want to see where I'm standing? It's quite the view. I'm about to slide the Simpsons house over, but check it out. This is actually super cool. Right in the middle of the city. It's actually an awesome bird's eye view. Woo! This should be the thumbnail of the video. Woo! <laughs> oh, that looks cool. I got to fill that plate though right there. That's where I'm supposed to put a uh, farmer's market to match up with that farm. Plus, I need to add a bunch of detail in the surrounding area but this is so cool you don't see the city from this angle very often and look at these floating shelves up here definitely got to fill those up with some better stuff and hang these airplanes i should really go check on millie because she hasn't made a peep and i've installed all three of these standards here this one on the end underneath the bulkhead was super tricky because it has to go lower because of the bulkhead so i made sure to measure to make sure like the brackets line up and the shelf will be level also, like, finding the stud was difficult. It said it was here, it said it was there, so it's a, like, probe drill. <sighs> it was rather difficult working with steel studs. But, hey, all three standards are installed now, and all I have to do is cut the shelf, 
and install that so pretty epic i also have to go through and replace all those screws but either way that's future brixie's problem man it uh is a struggle up here my back hurts but pretty fired up on that she must know that dad really wants to install these shelves what a beauty she's like no i don't want you to install that shelf ah <laughs> so close should i do it anyway let's do it what the heck? Oh, I guess the next thing I need to buy is a laser level. Oh, I was using a level and I was measuring off the roof. It's like a centimeter off though. Why is that? <laughs> oh, that drives me crazy. I think what I'll do is just use my um, fasteners, fasten the two shelves together and then maybe put like a thin piece of wood or like a shim under there to level it off. That's driving me crazy. No, <laughs> it's off by a centimeter. Do you see it? Good morning, Millie. How are you? Okay. You have a good sleep. Daddy was installing crooked shelving. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just have to wait a whole nother hour before Jose's home. But she's actually at a mom's group. So she brings one baby at a time because bringing twins anywhere is an absolute nightmare. This week she brought Ben and she's hanging out with a bunch of other moms. It's good though. It gets her out of those, gets a baby out of those. And then I get to hang out with Millie. But as soon as she gets home, I'll be back downstairs installing track shelving, fixing the crooked one, and also uh, installing the race platform. Uh, Right, Mel? Yeah. Yeah. It's your favorite toy? Yeah, there you go. Would you be happy downstairs? Yeah? Maybe? So I guess the one in the middle there is just a little bit lower than the others because these are level. Like that's pretty much perfect. But this one is not. I don't know how that happened. This is what it is. People make mistakes. I'll have to try and fix it another way. This is where that horizontal track system that I was talking about at the hardware store would be very beneficial because it's easier to get one big strip and horizontal line level and then hang your tracks off that. In hindsight, I probably should have done that for all of the tracks. I just didn't know that existed when I bought the original tracks, I didn't know there was such thing. So once again, living and learning in the future, if I ever do this again, I'll just do that system with the uh, uprights that clip into the horizontal beam. Makes more sense and be a lot easier to install. My bad, it is what it is. I know a lot of people are gonna be telling me what to do, but I'm sorry, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, it's just my room, it's me learning and I know there's a better way of doing everything, and I'm just trying my best based on the knowledge that I have. It is what it is. I'm still happy with the results. It doesn't matter. Either way, I'm thankful for these slippers and Costco socks and also these metal fasteners because look at that. Problem solved. Now I'm eager to repair my city, put everything back where it belongs because it's sort of a disaster in there. One thing I probably should do is use those same metal fasteners and connect all of my raised platforms because... I actually built the raised platforms in 40 inch segments or four base plate segments because it was hard to bring this massive platform in there. So I decided to do that. So when I place the new ones, what I should do is screw from the underside and connect them all. So those little gaps there go away and they are one big unit. And then if I need to move a single unit, I just got to pop the screws out. Now, the next thing I have to do is uh, create a new platform. So there's an issue. I need a 55 inch platform that's going to go from here to there and the depth is one and a half base plates or 15 inches so i've got to go to the garage and i've got to find something i know i have a 40 inch piece in there because i have one of these pre-cut and then i have a 20 inch piece but i don't think i'm going to be able to bridge two platforms together i think it has to be one solid piece so i'm probably gonna to have to make a bunch of cuts with a skill saw to get a 55 inch, which is sort of a specific measurement, 55 inch by 15 inch uh, platform. Hmm. And then I have to like position the table legs so it's like there and there, and then two right here so the trains can still pass through. 
But check it out, everybody. I finally have a shelf that can accommodate the obscenely tall Lego Disney Frozen Elsa's Ice Castle. Looking from this perspective is going to be impressive when that's full. However, I need to fix that bulkhead shelf. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh my gosh. So I decided that I may as well set up the shelf before I work on the city platform. You know, setting up this awesome castle scene up there. Well, not really a scene, just displaying a bunch of different castle sets. And I was like, you know what? Look at beside those castles, the Lion Knight Castle. So I grabbed my ladder and I was like, yeah, I'm going to move the Lion Knight's castle from up there. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like one solid unit. And I forgot that uh, it actually splits in two. So here's one half of it, and that's where it clips together. There's the other half of it. <sighs> yeah, silly me. Should have maybe uh, checked into that before I just grabbed it. <laughs> Oh, and now my day has changed, depending on if I want to repair that or not. I don't know, I might just throw it in a bin and leave it for another day, but that's today's disaster. I usually have like very little or no emotion when this happens because it happens very often when you deal with Lego every day, but this one, I don't know, I'm sort of upset about. Like that's a lot of pieces to try and put back together. That sort of sucks, you know, like I'm not too happy about that. Plus, I wanted it to be on display with the other castles, but ah, it is what it is, I guess. Like, seriously, that's not cool. I put my hand under it and grabbed it by one side. Why would I do that with a Lego set? On the other side, it's going... <sighs> I'm actually surprised it doesn't happen more often than it does. Like, I've moved a lot of Lego and move a lot of Lego, and it doesn't happen that often, so... It is what it is. I don't think I have the energy to repair that today. I'd rather build the platform. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I found the piece of wood that I'm gonna to cut to size here. The problem is, is it's raining outside right now. I really don't wanna cut this in the garage because it's gonna create a lot of sawdust. Uh, I've gotta make one big cut, the full length of it, 10 inches off and then five inches off the other direction. It's a lot of cutting. Make a mess in the garage and whip out the shop vac? I guess so. <laughs> it's boring outside. I'm not going to do it in the rain. That's crazy. Holy crap. Don't report me to the union for these working conditions. But look at that. It caught most of the sawdust. That's convenient. What can I say? Dog food, Lego instructions, and skill saws. And a new haircut. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, everybody. What is wrong with me? Seriously. Forgot that I used three quarter inch Malamine for the platform. Oh no, <laughs> this isn't three quarter inch. I already have free cut legs. What a disaster this has turned out to be for me. Oh, I'm gonna have to go cut more wood now. Well, crap everybody. It turns out I don't have any three quarter inch that's gonna be 55 inches long. This is three quarter inch, but it's not the right dimensions. This isn't three quarter inch. This is the one I just cut. I honestly thought it was the right thickness. It deceived me. That's not three quarter inch. What do I do? See, I wanted to use these table legs. So I could use those. Those are the right table legs, so I wouldn't have to cut anymore. I guess I could cut new table legs that are the difference. Oh, I want to use the same thickness of Malamine. No, that just makes sense. I could use that sheet and that sheet there. I'd have to cut five inches off this and then I'd have to try and bridge it. I don't really want to buy more wood because I've got a garage full of wood, but it turns out my three quarter inch sheets aren't big enough. This has turned into a woodworking vlog. And what a day this has turned into be, eh? Like, wow, goodness me. It didn't take me that long to cut, so it is what it is. I was trying to cut a corner by not having to bridge this stuff. I knew I had that option all the way along, but uh, I guess we're going to end up doing that anyway. Good thing I enjoy cutting wood. Well, holy smokes, everybody. I did it, but it is by far the ugliest platform I've ever made. But it's functional, so that's good. Got a leg in the far corner there, a leg right there. Probably could have moved that a little bit to the left and maybe a little bit in. But either way, you're not going to see it when this is covered up like the other ones. And then we get a leg right here and a leg right there. And guess what? 
I bridged the two pieces of wood with the piece that I cut off this little segment right there. So it works. At least I didn't have to buy any new material. With that said, I'm not even done yet because I have got to come in here with a bigger drill bit and countersink my holes. Usually my impact drill takes care of that, but not always. So I've got to fix some of these screws as well. With that said, everybody, I'm done. I've got a mountain of editing to do here. Got to put the kids to sleep. Got to hang out with the wife a bit. And then I got to try out that new headset. I just, uh... I don't know. I, I don't think I can continue. Just like there's too many things that have gone wrong. You know, at least we got a lot done. We got the shelves installed. We went shopping, got a fresh haircut and uh, got that uh, platform installed too. So that's good. But I'll finish it up uh, tomorrow just because I don't know. I, I'm just so tired. I keep making mistakes and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the night off now after I'm done editing these 80 clips. <laughs> Yay. Uh, all right. Farewell. Thanks for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe. Bye.